taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, Jesus gave thanks and broke them. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. COVID-19 pandemic has obviously affected Foothills United Methodist Church and all of our churches across the connection. And it would be an understatement to say that it has really impacted us. However, even during the height of this pandemic, when we were totally unsure about what to do next and how to do it, we knew we had a commitment to serve this community. And we continued to do so every Saturday morning through our ministries here at Good Shepherd Ministry Center. Because of the generous donations of members of Foothills and the local churches that we are partnering with, we always had an abundance of food, clothing, and diapers, even when the shelves in the grocery stores were bare. Our pandemic story is one of courage. Before vaccines were available, we tried to encourage our vulnerable volunteers to stay at home, and they said no. We want to come help people who are not as well off as we are. And so they came, and they masked up, and we social distanced, and more than 125 volunteers came to pre-bag thousands of bags of clothing and food. Here at the closet, work hard to bring a personal touch for our guests. Uh, we've even gotten to know several of them and know what their needs are so we can anticipate it. But we do things like uh, hand-making cards to put in Valentine bags and fun things like dressing up for Halloween. We just, we know by the faces that leave the closet on a Saturday morning that we've made many people happy. The Good Shepherd Ministry Center is here for the people who look for comfort with food and clothing and diapers. And they're reassured because we're here every Saturday to provide them with the things that they need. During the pandemic, we had to find multiple additional sources of food, clothing, and especially volunteers. We reached out to church partners, schools, and other service organizations in our area. We really saw that families took the opportunities at Good Shepherd for an outing that they really didn't have the opportunity to do anywhere else in the community. I see miracles of abundance at the pantry, and the butterfly represents the metamorphosis that has taken place at the pantry and continues to take place here each week. I want to share a personal story about my time here at Good Shepherd Ministry Center. Many Saturdays I come and I volunteer for our food pantry. And my job has been to host the walk-up table. That's where our neighbors in the immediate neighborhood come up and we distribute groceries to them in person. And it's been wonderful because I've been able to engage in short conversations and get to know these neighbors. And one of those neighbors is an elderly couple who literally live down the street and they bring their wagon each and every Saturday and receive groceries. And the wife of that couple is a wonderful seamstress. She has actually made hundreds of face masks that she has donated to the pantry and the ministry center that we distribute to our neighbors each and every week. This past year, something unexpected happened my mother-in-law was diagnosed with cancer, and she soon went on hospice care. So I had to take a few Saturdays away to be with my family and go to the Los Angeles area to visit her. After a few weeks, I returned to my volunteer job at the walk-up table, and the elderly couple was in line, and they came forward. And as I greeted them, they handed me a simple plain bag. And in that bag was this beautiful quilt. And with this quilt was a note. And the note said, Pastor Greg, we know that you have lost your mother-in-law, mother, and grandmother, someone dear to you and your family know that you are in our prayers. We have missed you.
And that's when I realized that we are doing something more than just feeding people physically at the Good Shepherd Ministry Center. We are actually feeding people spiritually. And it's not just us feeding others, but we are being fed ourselves because we have become a community, a community that depends upon one another, that helps each other out, that that is what Jesus calls us to do, to be neighbors who love one another and God in a community of faith. Even during the pandemic, we were filled with hope, hope that God's love would shine through each of us to our neighbors and hope for a better future. We applied for and received a grant to install this walk-in cooler because we knew we would need more food um, post-pandemic to feed our neighbors. And also, uh, we have many cultures who come here and they often don't know how to use the food we give them in the pantry, so we applied for and received a grant to begin a cooking program in the spring uh, where we can show our guests how to use the food we give them in a nutritious and delicious way. They all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 baskets full of broken pieces that were left over. God uses us to bless other people by gleaning our fruit, cleaning our, our closets, and sharing our food. Others' lives have been transformed. The congregation of Foothills United Methodist Church did not run away from the pandemic. We ran into it. We were transformed. There was enough. And we made a difference in the lives of our neighbors. Jesus continues to feed the multitudes through our willingness to share God's grace.